you. Huge thanks to everybody who shared the video uh, from earlier today. Or, well, by the time you see this, that will have been yesterday. And anyway, it was about the, uh, the get up and fixing that one pet peeve. I had a great question on my website about getting started with the get up. And uh, especially um, for somebody in an area who doesn't have an RKC or RKC2 level trainer or even um, an HKC trainer, they can be very, very helpful with the get up, especially because that's one of their core lifts. So I wanted to show you how to really get started with the get up um, from the absolute beginning and kind of some things to keep in mind. Um, lucky for you, one of my small group men members decided to leave her yoga mat in the trunk of my car last night. So uh, thank you. <laughs> okay. First off, a good way to just not have a lot of problems with the get up is to get set up correctly and find where you fit into the movement. What in the world does that mean? First off, when I demo the get up, I don't like to make any unnecessary movements. In fact, the way I was taught, once you plant that hand, it does not move. To the point of which I actually had my coach at the time, well, he stood on my foot, my hand with his foot, and it did not move. That's a little bit extreme for most people, but it has made me a better instructor, like it or not. So, what am I doing on the ground to get started? First off, I'm not gonna let this thing tell me what to do. It's a yoga mat, it has an IQ of zero. I'm doing a little better than that. So, if I don't fit on this thing, too bad. I am not gonna conform to it, and neither should you. So, let's say I'm gonna come from my left side. So I've got my invisible kettlebell on my left side. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna press the kettlebell up. My right leg is straight and out at about a 45 degree angle. My left foot is out at a little bit of an angle and my heel is close in to my rear. Now this arm, a lot of people you'll see them do kind of funny stuff. How I like to cue this is make this angle the same with your arm. So the arm and the leg are parallel, or as I like to say, let's make it match. So I've made it match. Here's my startup position for the get up. My flat hand is planted. Some people do a fist. I don't like that. If somebody steps on my fist, it would hurt. And you know how I told you I was taught. So my hand is down there. I'm gonna drive off of this heel, um, this heel like I showed you in the other video. And I'm gonna push and roll toward this foot as I shove it along the ground, keeping that leg straight. All right, here we go. See, I'm up on my elbow. From here, I'm leaving my hand in the same place I'm planting it and I'm pushing hard through the heel of that hand as I continue to drive with my heel and boom I'm up here at this point I am not going to move my hand I am just rotating it the palm is staying in the same place the fingers are now pointing back okay so that's the next part now I'm going to drive again off of this heel again and I'm going to push myself up from the ground so you can see I'm just lifting up a little bit. In the past, we taught a high bridge. Right now, for the beginners, we're teaching here. And also, I think, in general, they're teaching, they call this the leg sweep. So what I'm doing right here is getting myself up high enough from the ground to pull this leg through and place it right back underneath me. So now all my weight's going through that knee. You'll notice that that knee is lined up with my hand. And that hand is making a straight line up here. So this kettlebell is rock solid. This elbow's locked out, that elbow's locked out. This is one piece. From here, I just come straight up. Now, since I'm on a nice soft place, all I have to do is take this leg, they call it wiper, if you've heard somebody say wiper that leg. So like a windshield wiper, I'm just gonna slide this back here. Now I'm ready to stand up. Now, if you are not on a hospitable surface, such as nice, soft, squishy grass, what you might want to do, I'm going back, is moving this front foot. This is going to look confusing to most people at first until you just get down and try it. Okay, so instead of twisting on my knee, which a lot of you are already grimacing, I'm just going to take this foot 
and I'm going to move it right here and check it out. I'm in my lunge position. I drive off of that heel once again and I stand up. That's half of your get up. The rest of it, just do everything backwards. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Now the good news is, come back down, okay? Now I'm going to wiper the foot just to kind of show you how that looks. Now I'm coming straight down. I'm matching my hand up right out next to my knee. Okay, but I've still got room there. And then I'm just gonna pop my leg through. I'm gonna sit back down on my butt. Under control, I'm coming down to my elbow. I'm not bending it underneath me. Then I'm rolling down to my back. I'm pulling this down and we're done. Okay, so it might take you a while to find where you fit into that movement to where you can do this without moving your hands all around. You'll see people, you know, they come up here and you'll see them adjust and whatnot. And there's nothing really wrong with that. But as an instructor, when I demonstrate this, I want them to see the purest, purest essence of this movement. Because if I move my hand, guess what? You're gonna move your hand if you're learning to get up from me. And you might not have to move your hand. One time I was demonstrating something and I went and I grabbed a bottle of water. I had five people also grab for a phantom bottle of water. I was like, whoa guys, I was just getting parched. So everything that you do is seen as part of the movement. And that's why you'll see me do get ups with nothing outside of the standard movements. So I'm gonna show it to you from this side so you can watch for those things. I'm gonna put my hand on here so you can see me rotate the hand, basically pointing the fingers back instead of moving it. Hopefully this mat will not move around on me. That's the other thing to watch out for. I've seen people get into trouble because they're mad. Hey, this one guy, this mat, I swear, is trying to kill him. So anyway, it makes him squeal like that. Just kidding. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have an invisible kettlebell over here. Come up, press it up. Okay, I've got my foot in close to my heel. I've got my leg out at a 45 degree angle. I've got my arm matching it which I'm gonna move up here so you can see it. My arm matching it, okay? These are parallel. I'm gonna drive from that heel and roll up to this elbow. Okay, I'm gonna press through that hand. All right, watch that hand. Can you see that hand? I hope you can. All I'm doing is rotating. So my fingers are pointing backwards now. I'm lifting up a little bit. I'm pulling that leg through. I'm coming up here. I'm gonna just wiper that leg back. My toe is popped underneath. So I can drive here and drive there. Boom. Good to go. All right, you know what? I'm going to come up here. I want you to see what happens with this hand somehow. Okay. Stepping back down, wipering the leg. Hand comes out to the side. Leg comes through. Arm goes back. Now you can see the hand. Here we go. So my arm, the leg are out to the side, driving off that heel, coming up. Hand is still planted here, rotating the fingers back. Coming up. Matt trying to kill me. Here we go. I hope that makes sense. Now if you're just beginning, just do a few of those first few steps. You could very easily have a great session just coming up to wherever it is you are comfortable. For example, now I'm gonna use the kettlebell, why not? Move my bracelet, okay. So, here we go. Let's say this is as far as I wanna go, great. Nothing wrong with that, it's good practice. I get to feel where I am in the movement. Now it's your turn. <laughs> 